regardless of what it is, but I think that there, there is room for compromise. I haven't heard anyone say no high standards. I haven't heard anyone say no local control. I haven't heard anyone say that they don't want some uniformity. So I think that there are some things that we can do. I haven't heard anyone say, please make all of our curriculum. I haven't heard anyone say, I love those performance packages so much, please keep them. So um, the <laughs> curriculum packages, yeah. the perform yeah. performance packages, yes. Yeah. So I, I think that there are things that we can do, and I think these are lessons that we've had the opportunity to learn. And frankly, I, I appreciate what Senator Moe says about supporting the administration to move forward with these things, because what a shame to have put this time and money in and to get the feedback, to learn where we've made mistakes, to learn what people really want through this controversy, and then do nothing with it. Well, I'm not sure... Average class size of 17 to 1, then money is available for them to decrease or to Im improve their um, achievement, and, and that's something they could do. Also, the governor does understand how important it is to, to fix the formula and has set up a blue ribbon commission to look at the funding formula. Well, what he says is that if only six people in Minnesota understand the funding formula, it's time <laughs> to get something new. That many? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Minneapolis. Laurie Sturdivant. The main focus of his campaign. Now we finally see his plan to do it in writing. What's really important to this governor is to reduce class sizes K through th three. Under Ventura's bill, every district that wants money to reduce class sizes has to submit a detailed plan on how they'll do it before they get the cash. It's to reduce class sizes K through th three. Under Ventura's bill, every district that wants money to reduce